Hi and welcome, I am Rasmus from DBC and in this video I will show you DBC Basic. DBC Basic is a free version of our DBC software. It has some limitations in functionality like you don't get the advanced solvers and you can't do moving sources. But apart from that you have the full functionality of the uh, full version of DBC. If you've seen DBC before you'll be familiar with this graphics layer. You can move around as you want to. But Apart from the IRC, you can also load whatever bathymetry you want, and I have something different here. So I'm from Denmark, so I wanted something with Denmark in it. This is the North Sea. I still have the source and probe, and I can simply just click the source and drag it if I want to move it. I'm moving it closer to the Netherlands here, because I'm going to do a pile driving scenario. First, now, I want to set the frequencies I'm interested in. I'll stay in octaves and I'll go from 16 hertz up to 64 kilohertz. And because this is DBC basics, I only have access to the two simple solvers. If I try to press one of the other ones, DBC will say, this is the free version, you do not have access to the advanced solvers. Okay. So I'll stick with the basic solvers. Then I need to tell DBC what noise source I want. So I can define a spectrum, add some equipment. Let's find something other. There is a hammer there, pile driving hammer. There's a spectrogram there. There's more functions in here, but that's for another video. So now I've set the frequencies I'm interested in, the solver and the sound source. So now I just need to press play or solve project. The default output here is quite coarse. That's because DBC uses five dB increment between the colors, but you can change that. I'm changing it to 1 dB now. So you might notice this histogram here of levels went a lot finer. This also means that now the graphics layer is going to be a lot finer. If I click the probe, or simply click the probe here, I get the received levels, a spectrogram of the received levels at that exact location, as you can see here. If I want to try and find out well, what were the porpoise here, because there's quite a lot of porpoises in the North Sea, simply press porpoise. Now all the levels are adjusted for harbour porpoise hearing. And also if you look at the probe and the spectrogram, the hearing threshold of the harbour porpoise has been superimposed on the spectrogram. So I can see at what frequencies do the noise exceed the hearing threshold of the harbour porpoise. So while this is very useful, for simple approximations. I think one of the real good uses of DBC Basic is that it can be used as a viewer for projects solved in the full version. So here's something I made earlier. The solution I'm going to show you now is solved with the parabolic equation solver and also the ray tracing solver for some of the higher frequencies. And it's a ship, it's a bulk carrying ship going from Liverpool to uh, Dundalk in Ireland. And you will notice this looks quite, quite different to the other solution. This is a, a better solution, while it could be finer, it will take longer to solve. It's still pretty good. So I still have a probe, I can move around and I will get the updates in the spectrogram here. In the same way I did before. And I can still add some marine species weightings. It takes a little longer for this because it's a bigger model. There's more data points. Now we can see that the harbour porpoise can't actually hear a lot of the noise that the ship is emitting. So as a viewer here, you can edit a lot of the uh, a lot of the levels afterwards. There's there's more settings that if you play with it, you will find that you have access to and can actually change change how the levels are viewed quite a lot or change if you want to view them as exposures or just at pe as peak pressures. I still change that in DBC basic. So uh, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy this and have a really good day. I'll po post a link to the download in the description so you can have a play with it yourself. Thank you very much.